Hi, in this introduction to HTML video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create basic web pages using the hypertext markup language or HTML as it's commonly known. I'm also going to show you how to upload the web pages that you've designed to a web server so this will allow your website to be viewed by anyone around the world with an internet connection. HTML is currently in version 4.01 and it's supported by every browser whether that's Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, etc. Um, so to start with let's have a look at a, a standard HTML page. So I've got Google up there. Let's go to uh, the teacher training one. There we go. So if we go to the home page of teachertrainingvideos.com you'll notice a couple of things. First of all I've actually typed in there the name of the page or the, the document that we're going to try and load. If you see that's index.html. Normally with a home page you don't need to bother. The, the web server knows that um, the standard page is going to be called that. The other thing I just want to draw your attention to is the extension. So the extension is the letters after the dot there. So this one has .html or HTML as the extension. For HTML documents this can either be .html or it can be .htm and if you call your document either of those two then when a web browser opens it it knows that it should be uh, or it should contain HTML code. Let's take our first look at what some HTML code or HTML markup uh, looks like. One way you can do it using Internet Explorer is if you just right click anywhere on the page that isn't an image you'll notice a context menu pops up and we have the option there to view the source and it will get opened up in notepad um, I'm using Internet Explorer 7 um, and it uses notepad, Internet Explorer 8 actually opens up in a slightly different uh, editor um, but you still are able to have a look at the, the source code. And this source code is HTML and you'll notice that we've got lots of bits of code and if I just perhaps highlight one part at the top here, it's teacher training videos for all teachers, we'll then be able to see that it is actually this part here on the page. This teacher training videos for all teachers text here is surrounded by something called markup and markup is what you'll start to uh, learn during this video tutorial course um, and you'll begin to be able to recognize a lot of the common markup that's used and how it affects um, how that information is viewed by the browser window. So how can we actually edit or, and create our HTML documents? Well, we can use um, some commercial software. Um, the very famous one or the very popular one is one by Adobe called Dreamweaver. Um, it's currently on CS4 version. Um, but just to start with, we're going to just use a standard um, text editor. And the one we're going to use is just Notepad. So let me just open up Notepad. <clears throat> okay, so let's try um, coding our very first HTML page. The first thing that we need at the top and the bottom is some information or some markup to tell the browser that this is going to be an HTML document. Any markup is enclosed in these brackets and we need an opening tag which just has the this keyword HTML or we then have a closing statement when we've reached the end of it and that has a forward slash before it so we're there saying the HTML starts here and it ends here There are two other things that we need in a standard HTML document and this is a head section and a body section and again we open and close each of these sections in the same manner. So let's open our head section let's just 
space it out a bit for you to see and then we're also going to have our body section right so there's my first attempt at a HTML document so now I need to save it and I'm just going to save it somewhere in my documents so let's go to save as okay there we go and we need to be a bit careful here because notepad assumes that this document is going to be a text document whereas actually it's going to be an HTML document so we need to change the savers type to all files and then we actually need to specify the extension so let's just call this one index.html and press the save button okay and that's that's our first uh, first web page so if we now browse to that document there we have it index.html or index and you notice that Windows has now picked it up as an HTML document and if we open it up and there we go we've opened up our our HTML document and because it hasn't got any content the browser is blank 